Oh, I still have the mouse here. That <laughs> uh, that should not happen. Hey everyone, this is Tech Austin. Today I'm bringing you my solo playthrough of Hens. This is the German version, but that doesn't matter because the game is pretty much language neutral. Um, <laughs> this is just adorable. Um, I saw this game on Kickstarter and did not back it. I was close to doing so, but then I thought, you know what? I don't know if I really need to back it. It looks like a cute game, but will I play it that often? I don't know. And I was kind of torn. Then it went to the German crowdfunding platform and I saw it again and then I thought, you know what, now I'm seeing it again. And you know what, I should have supported it on Kickstarter, I'm going to support it now. It's language noodle anyway, pretty much, so who cares, right? Um, this is a game that you can play up to four players. Um, it takes about 20 minutes, it says, yeah, 20 minutes here, uh, ages 10 and plus. Turn it up. The artwork is really adorable, as you can see here. Um, like these chickens, this is a great topic. I like nature-themed games anyways. And I have played this several times, only solo so far. I will definitely um, also play it multiplayer quite soon. Um, and this is a really cute game, and it is a pretty good puzzler. It is very simple, um, but it is quite crunchy and thinky. So I like it. All right, so... Um, for the setup, um, I will not do a montage today because there isn't a whole lot to do during that montage. So I will rather explain it to you. These are the reference cards here. Or oh, not the reference cards, but here you can see how many, um, like how the cards are distributed, right? Um, but what we will do is we have like um, for different chickens in different quantities. Like this brown one and the blue one here, these two have the same amount of cards. And in a solo game, we only use one of those, right? So um, let's just take the blue ones. Then because of my channel, I will take the red ones and not the purple ones. Let me put those away as well. Um, then we will take the yellow or the gray. Well, let's take the yellow ones. The gray ones will go back in the box and then of the uh, green and black ones, I will take the black one because, well, channel colors, right? That's already the largest part of the setup. Then we will take one of these rooster, oops, rooster meeple here. Take a good look at them. They might be featured in Component Monday at some point. Um, and then we do have a few promo cards here. I will not use them now, um, but I will, we will have to shuffle these contract cards, so to speak. I don't know how you call them in the English version of hands but that works pretty well. And here we now have a task that we will speak about in just a minute. So in the rest, we don't need any more. So let me get all of that out of the way. Well, actually we could keep that here. I always like to do that. I cannot always do that, but with such small games, it usually works quite well. Oh, I still have the mouse here. That, <laughs> uh, that should not happen usually. These cards are just shuffled. Um, so let me just shuffle these and then arrange everything so that we can play. And there we actually have a little montage. So I still did a small one here at least. So, okay, that is the setup for a solo game. In a multiplayer game, it's similar. You just have more cards here and um, I think otherwise it's quite similar. So in a multiplayer game, you can always um, draw two cards and then one of these cards um, you will um, place, uh, you will take it into your hand and the other one you will discard. And then I think you play one card from your hand um, into your, uh, into your um, area. So we will build a little tableau of our hens on our farm. And we will build a tableau of three by four or four by three. That's something that we can choose. Um, we will get points for the largest group of hens and the second largest uh, of same, uh, I mean, of same colored hens, like only blues, for example. Um, and also we will get points for the second largest um, or for a smaller group of hens, if there is the roost token on there. We will place that one on a card after we have played six of 12 cards. I will show you later how that works. We will get points for medals. We will, so we don't get points for like, uh, when I said the two groups, we don't get points for the chickens themselves, but actually for the eggs on them, right? So 
chickens with more eggs these are more valuable but there are also less cards of those then um, for the two groups then we will get points for medals and also we will get points for these two um, contracts here so the first one means we get five points if we can have five different hens lying here so one of each i think we have five different in here so um, we have at least one of each here that's quite tough to get with 12 hens only and here um, this means that we get one point for each single hen right so for for a single black one that is not connected to other black ones for example and that is all we um, get points for how the game works is now it, it's all played over 12 rounds of course because we need to place down 12 hens as soon as we have done that the game is over and what we do then is we draw a card and then we need to decide do we keep it or do we discard it if we keep it then we need to discard the second card if we discard it, we need to keep the second card all right uh, i definitely want to keep this um because uh, two medals, two eggs, that's pretty good. I will definitely keep that. So the other card, I cannot cap keep. Oh, that would have been better. But I would have to discard it. Okay, because we want five different hens if possible, right? And now we need to play one um, hen in our tableau. Um, the rules to play are as follows. Um, if Well, uh, let me show you in the second round. So first, I will just play a hen. And that was already the first round. Second round, same thing. I take a hen card and will i keep it um i don't know i would like to have like a group of hens but you know what i will just discard it and hope for it maybe for a yellow or black one a red one that one is still better than the other one i just drew so that's fine now for the second hen we need to place them adjacent to each other right in a grid three by four or four by three as i said um but we have two rules either the card you place needs to be the same color, the same breed of hens. Then it's fine. Then the numbers don't matter. Or it is a different breed of hens, but then the number needs to be one higher or lower than the adjacent cards. I'm saying cards because um, if there is also a card here, it needs to fit both, which it would fit in this example, right? Because five is one higher than four and one lower than six. That's fine. But if it was like this, here, for example, um, like this, for example, here, um, which of course wouldn't work, but doesn't matter. Then we would not be able to place this because yes, one lower than that. Oh no, it actually would be possible because two red ones, that's fine as well, right? But let me just give you a different example like this. That's a valid placement here. And here we could not place it because one lower than that, right? But also different color here, but two higher, that's too high. That wouldn't work either, right? That's kind of how it works. Um, I hope I explained that okay. Um, you will understand it when I keep playing. So the six here, um, I would like to have like one small group with a lot of eggs and then have a few single hands. Maybe, maybe let's see. Let's put the four right here. I think that is pretty good. All right. Um, this one I don't really want to keep. And so I will have to keep this one, which is great. I wanted to have... Um, a different colored one, but I also need more black ones, but that is fine. So this one I can could place here because one lower and there one higher. That's fine. I think I would place it, uh, but then I couldn't place this one there mm, because then I can only play yellow or black there. That's all I could play, but I will still do it. I think I will still do it. I could also play it here. Oh, let me play it here. That's fine. I would just have to play a black or a yellow one there. There's a black one. Um, but the black one is too low. I will still keep it. And we'll discard this one. Yeah, okay. And then I will play this one up here. That's a lot of eggs for that group and a lot of metals. That is pretty nice. Okay. This one I do not keep. This one I will have to keep. And that is, oh, that's one too low. I can't put this here because two colors, yes, but there it won't work. Um, but I will still put it down here. So by now I have a three by three grid, right? Now I can have one more column here or one more row down here. I will have to see about that. 
four. I cannot place this there, so it's pretty useless. Uh, five, this won't work either. Okay, let's see what we can do. Um, so, oh, we can't place a whole lot. I will place the three over here. That definitely works. So now I have my grid, right? I have four columns in three rows. So that's how I need to continue playing. The six here, this one could be worthwhile, but I already have a six here. So you know what, let's draw for something else. Oh no, that's not much better. Um, so let's see. So now playing like a six here would be pretty stupid, right? Because these are pretty far apart then. And it would be, I could only play black or blue here and only like specific numbers. What I can do instead is put a four here because then I can play any three here, right? Because like it's one higher than that and one lower than that. So I will do this. Oh, by the way, I forgot something. Before I do that, um, I played six cards now. That's half the cards. Now I need to place the rooster on a group that will be smaller than my largest group. And um, I will play it then on, yeah, probably on the yellow ones here, right? Because that's, let me just lie down so you can see it better. That will score later on. Okay, so now I will play, what did I want to play? This one here, right? Yeah. Okay, let me draw a card. Oh, a black one. I want that and I can work with it. So I will keep this and I will put this someplace else. So I cannot place this here, right? Because black, black, that's fine. But five is not higher or lower than this five. But I could play it here, black, black, and one higher or lower. But that means I can only play a black four or six here. That's all I can play. Hmm. There is an option if you can't play a card anymore. I will show you uh, in a bit what you can do then. Okay, let's hope for a black. Oh, no, wait. But the black four is already there and the black six as well. But there are, oh, there's only one of each, I think. And that is where these reference cards come in handy, I think, right? Uh, no, it doesn't. Yeah, it tells you how many there are. And of the black, there is only one of each. So this would not work. This is not going to work because I cannot play a card there, a valid card there. Okay, then let me rethink. A yellow four or a yellow no a yellow six won't work. O only on yellow four won't work either. So I can't play anything here that would work, right? So I will still play this here. Then I will lose a point over here. I will show you what we can do then. The four I would love to play this one for this group here, but I can't put it here, and I I could put it here, and then I can play a yellow six maybe if i can find it yeah just a yellow six let's just do it i might it might not be the most clever play but let's see maybe i can find the yellow six um i do not want that there's a yellow one okay what i will do is i will play the the red five here because i said i can play the yellow six here and that would work so let me put that here because that will actually give me that one point here one two three i only have four different colors i did not get all breeds i don't want this i want the yellow six if possible no so and now um i cannot play anything valid here i cannot play anything valid here what i will do now is because we need to play a card right we can also take a card turn it over and place it here like this and now we just have like this little coop here that's fine it looks pretty cool but this will not give us any points right this is just and also i think it will actually grant us um one negative point if i'm not mistaken um i would have to look that up actually no i don't have to look this up i know that this is uh this is a negative point at least i'm pretty sure all right that's not the yellow six that's not the yellow six okay i just um was not lucky enough because i can't put any cards here um, I also could have put, no, I couldn't put, couldn't have put anything there. So we'll just take a card and put it face down. Oh, that was not a good round. And that's it. That's the end of the game. What we do now is take our um, sheets of paper here. 
our scoring um, pad and then we will score. So um, I am Sir Thakas. Most of you probably know that. At least it's written underneath this video. Okay, now we look at the largest group of hens, which is the black one, and we count all the eggs. That's two, four, seven, nine. That's pretty good, actually. So we have nine points here. Then we take a look at the rooster group, which needs to be smaller. It is, only three cards. And we count all the eggs there as well. So that is two, three, and four. That's another four points. Then we take a look at all medals. That is one, two, three, five, seven, nine, eleven. That is a lot. That is actually pretty good. By the way, that's total. That's, that's not true. Um, <laughs> that is definitely not true. So um, for each three medals, we get two points, right? So um, we have 11 medals. So that is three times two. That's six. Only six points, right? So that was stupid. Six points. And then we also, of course, um, we have the barns, right? And these all give us one um, negative point. So that is two negative points, unfortunately. And then we also look at the upper and the lower task. The upper gave, gives us five points if we have five different breeds, which we don't. One, two, three, we only have four. Which one was missing? None. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, that is... Oh, I've never had this card in solo play, but that actually doesn't work. Okay, let me... Let me check something out. Give me a second, because I put all breeds here. So um, let me just check the rule book quickly. Um, I never do that in my videos, but I will have to do it here. Uh, here we have this one. Oh, this one doesn't work for solo. That is pretty bad. Uh, let me see. Oh, okay. So they should have done something different here, right? Um, because in solo you only have like four different breeds. Yeah, so um, you know what? I'm gonna give myself these five points because I was able to put each breed that is available here, right? So I'll give myself the five points. I think that's just fair. And then I get one point for each single hen. It's only this red one here, right? All others are in groups. This one is single, so another point. I'm just gonna give myself these five points. I think that is fair. Um, I don't know. That's something that you. I will have to check out how you can do that in a solo game then. Probably you will have to sort, you will have to remove this card in a solo game. Okay, so we have 13, 19, 17, 18, 23 points. Okay, we got 23 points. And although that's a pretty decent score, my best one was 32. That was a really high score I once had. Um, but let's see here. Um, so we see here that we have, uh, it's a little bit small. Maybe I should come a little bit closer. Give me a give me a second here. It's a little bit bright, but you can at least see it. I mean, you won't understand the German text here, but you can see like the score ranges on the left, right? And I got 23 points. So that's, I just need two more points for the best rating, which is 25 plus, but 23 is okay. Um, and it says that um, something like you got it, right? You, you know how to do it, right? So um, that's pretty good. Um, actually, even if I have hadn't given myself the five points here, I would still be in the same range with 18 then. So, right, the range didn't change um, because of the, um, the card there. But um, had I just been able to put these two in here, then it would have been um, even better than I could have had the highest ranking, but actually this worked out, this worked out pretty well, um, if I do say so myself. All right, and that was my playthrough of Hens. I really hope you enjoyed this. This is a really quirky game. I like it a lot because it is a nice puzzle. It is really simple, right? But there are quite a few things you have to pay attention to. Not only the card, uh, the, the numbers and colors, but also like which is your biggest group. Because had I put like the rooster on a group that had the same as this one, then only one of these groups would score, not both. The rooster group needs to be smaller. That is really important. So there is a lot you have to like, um, pay attention to but still it's a really simple game with simple rules so I really thoroughly enjoy this this will definitely yeah be a game I play quite often even solo I think um, yeah 
So, at the end of the video, as usual, I really want to thank all of you for your support, for commenting, for liking, for watching my videos, for interacting with me on my Discord server, on social media, everywhere. And especially, I want to thank my Patreon patrons who are generously supporting me on Patreon. Also, a huge shout out to Thakno, who is currently my biggest supporter. Thank you so much for that. If you also would like to support me, why don't you head over to my Patreon? You can find the link in this video description. And if you're still watching, thank you so much for doing so. I really appreciate that. If you enjoyed this video, why don't you let me know with a like and or a comment. You can also subscribe to my channel if you would like to keep up to date with my future content. Maybe also go through my back catalog. There's a lot to get through there. You can also join my Discord server in case you would like to hang out with me and my community. Of course, you can also find me on social media, on Twitter and Instagram respectively. All right, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the very next video. Take care, everyone. Stay safe and cheers.